Good afternoon, St. Matthews, and welcome into Noon Prayer on this Tuesday of what is the second week of Epiphany. Second week of Epiphany. The new year is well on its way. An order of service for Noonday begins on page 103 in your Books of Common Prayer. Let us enter into God's courts. O oh God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. And now turning the page, let us read together Psalm 126 in unison. And that can be found right there on page 105. Psalm 126. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, then were we like those who dream. Then was our mouth filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad indeed. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like the watercourses of the Negev. Those who sowed with tears will reap with songs of joy. Those who go out weeping, carrying the seed, will come again with joy, shouldering their sheaves. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And now at the top of page 106, let us read together, or shall I read to you, a reading from Malachi. From the rising of the sun to its setting, my name shall be great among the nations. And in every place, incense shall be offered to my name, and a pure offering. For my name shall be great among the nations, says the Lord of hosts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us of our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Almighty Savior, who at noonday called your servant St. Paul to be an apostle to the Gentiles, we pray you to illumine the world with the radiance of your glory, that all nations may come and worship you, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Okay, dear friends, I welcome your prayer re requests, your intercessions, your petitions, your thanksgivings. We pray for Joe, our president, for Kamala, our vice president, for K, our governor, and K, excuse me, and Paul, our mayor. We pray for Michael, our presiding bishop. We pray for Glenda and Brian, our diocesan bishops. We pray for Bob, Steve, and Sam, our retired clergy. We pray for for Dylan, our associate rector, for Lynn, our deacon. We pray for Karen, our postulant for holy orders, and for Lauren, our missioner to Kenya. Okay, friends, let us continue our practice of praying for five. Ricky and Josie Cooper, Courtney and Shelley Cote. David and Sherry Cox. George and Chris Cruz. Lee and Haley Davidson. Dear ones, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow right here in the nave as we have our Wednesday Eucharist at noontime. And until then, let us bless the Lord. Amen.